Henry Bailey Brown has brought us beatboxes with us because it's in it's in Chrome. You know what? That's the coolest thing about this is oh. that oh. you don't have to download anything to your computer. Nice. And it's free. And you can actually use it to make some sick beatsies. But Henry, what is it? It's your imagination. Just kidding. No, it's actually um, it's actually a website, guys. So throughout Category 5, we've mentioned so many amazing online tools like Pexels, so like right. free images. You have GIMP, which is you can, of course, edit images. But now we're switching sensors from your eyes to your, your ears and your soul. So today, yeah, no, I'm getting, we're getting really deep, guys. Um, it's called audiotool.com, and it is a free website with a free built-in audio mixing software. So if you ever used GarageBand, MixCraft, other right. tools like that, yeah. it's like that, but it's literally all in the cloud, and it's all web-based, and it's cool. free. So and it's free. Free. Yeah, I know. You, you can ask for a refund, but you get nothing back because it's free, but you can still <laughs> ask, ask for a refund. Might as well for try. Sure. You know. But yeah, so it's like, um, honestly, anyone can try for free again. It's, it's online. It's audiotool.com. And if you're... For example, if you have an online TV show, if you have a podcast, if you want to just make some sweet introductions for music-wise, then this is your site, right? This is it. And yeah, if we switch take us to, to the tour, can we see? Yeah, for sure. Um, so what you're seeing now is it? it it's it's amazing. Um, I can't really. Is there a way to like scroll like mouse pad like scroll in? Oh, like out? mouse. Or pad? no, it's okay. I can I can use the top left here. I can use this guy. Um, so pretty much. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah, okay. yeah, it's so okay. You, you actually are navigating around. That's the coolest this part. Is, if, is okay. that it's visual because a lot of programs nowadays, especially if you aren't a musician or nothing else, if you're a guy like me who just wants to make some sick beatsies or whatever you want to call them. Um, beatsies. Uh, beats. <laughs> you're the beatsies boy. Yeah, apparently. Yeah, I don't know. But no, like it's all visual. So like as you can see here on the wonderful screen that's taking over my face. I'm just yeah. Um, I'm, just, I'm kind <laughs> of as he's speaking. I'm I'm setting up shots here so that you guys can see this. So yeah. bear with me here. It's probably all going to be edited. Post anyways, so. <laughs> all right. So take us for the tour here. Yeah, for sure. So this is kind of a basic setup that we have here. Um, so if you have any audio experience at all, or if you've seen any movies about it. This, actually, you know what? Let's just make a really fast project here. I'm just going to say, they can hear it, right? It's plugged in, audio -wise. Yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so if I press play right now. I don't know if they can hear you. Can you guys hear him talk at I the same so. time? Probably the not. Beats? So while we're waiting for them to get back, hopefully they can hear. I'll just turn down the volume. Yeah. I can't even just turn it down the slider. So we'll just Oh yeah, yeah. Well I just turned it down right here. So Oh cool. Okay. Yeah, so pretty much this these are like really simple things you can do. And this is just like a really simple project that I made literally in like two or three minutes. And I'm just gonna create a new file right now just to show how easy the site is because again it's all visual based and you're just doing this in in chrome yeah this is all in chrome like this is literally just a web browser so i'm just going to start an empty project all right and this is what you get so this represents your out so this is like your final product and this is your audio board it looks That's really complicated so it might look complicated don't worry pretty much all you need to know is that each volume mixer so like each slide here is a different track so it's just like GarageBand and MixCraft and all those guys. You have loops, which may or may not load. There you go. So, and these are free. Wow. So if you got random loops that you can use, <laughs> right? And again, these are all, most of them are Creative Commons, so you can use them for whatever you're doing. Um, so let's say if, if I find a loop that I really like, simple click and drag into my workspace, boom, and just it's like there. That? It's there, and it's automatically connected. And again, since it's visual-based, you literally see a wire come from our little audio file that's represented at this, as this little block, and it goes into the first audio mix right here. So if I press play, you can see it right here. And I can edit the levels, I can make it louder, not as loud. So it's like that, and you can import your own sounds so like if you're a drummer and you do your own things like that you can do that as well and you, if you have a mic you can add your own voice you add singing and stuff you can add your own music Does you it? can add your beautiful angel-like voice my hip-hop sick rhymes, rhymes. 
jams. Nice. So, okay. So how, how long would it take to put a beat together? I like, can do you, one right now. Could you do one right now? Live? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm going to show them something really cool. All right. We want to see this. And it's really interesting so, because... Th- just, just to take yeah. you there, this is audiotool.com. Which, surprisingly enough, yeah. was actually my DJ nickname. Wow. Hello, audiotool.com. Maybe it's your site. <laughs> okay, really quickly, because there's a lot to show here and we don't have that much time. Um, on the right here, so, like, again, these are, like, a lot of loops. And there's a lot of user-made loops, too. So you can upload your own if you want. Um, is that here we have, like, different things called drums, synths, tools, and effects. All right? So I just want to touch on, like, the tools and effects today. So something here called Tone Matrix, I put it into my work area, boom. Again, you see it automatically goes to the second track right here. But this isn't a loop. This is your own tool. So pretend if you have a beat in your head, like na, 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 or something like that. Let's let's draw a pretty pattern here, and you'll see what I mean. So if I go like this. Oh, it's like a piano roll. And if I press play. No way. I'm just going to solo that. It was that, that can easy? Just write my name? You can make a smiley face and hear what like, a no, smiley face looks like. No, write my name and see what, it, what does my name sound like. Okay. And then you add this other guy back. One sec. Yo, his name is Robbie. What? What? Sasha Showtime. What? What? Woo! And no, and that's... And that's the amazing part about these tools is that they're free, yes, but they're powerful. And that's so great to see on the internet nowadays. And one other thing I will show you before we do anything else is that we have a little panel here called effects. So again, if you've ever used like a program before like Mixcraft or GarageBand, you have like effects that um, reverb, for example. Mm -hmm. So if I click and drag this into my workspace, it's here as well. Um, But... I'm not sure if there's any musicians in our audience, but if you ever see like those foot pedals that like guitarists have or something, yeah. they kind of look like this. But see how it says out right here? It's, I'm going to have to zoom in to show you. It says out on our little uh, audio matrix here. Okay, yeah. If I click and drag this, you can rewire things? Yeah, again, it's all visual. So if I take That's the out crazy. from this guy and put it into the reverb, mm-hmm. so it goes from here to the reverb, and from the reverb back into my audio panel, and I play again. It's kind of hard to notice because this one already has reverb a little bit, but I can now control a reverb effect. You definitely hear that if you had a vocal track or something like that. Yeah, and again, there's so many effects, there's so many tools, and I'm going to show one more tool off, and then we can just let them play around with this. Um, And to show just how powerful this tool is, let's get out our... Wonderful giant machine of amazingness right here. It'll take a second to load. There you go. Now, again, since this is a free website, there's a lot of users on it. All right. Is that a TS404? What is that? I'll it's show like you. A pad of some sort. If you right click, you can say load preset. Yeah. And again, there's some made by audio.com, etc. Yeah, yeah. Um, but let's say ambient kick or no, instant dubstep. Let's get Robbie dancing oh, here. Oh, sweet. Let's apply. And it's loaded in a few tracks oh, already. I see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So, so now that's a drum roll. Yeah, and it's just like before, but if I press play now, a little bit of trip hop. Yeah, and you can just add them by yourself, and you can see it go along. Again, I'm not sure how many like Holy music cow. people are out there, but you can change it so then like goes by fourths, go by sixteenths. Like I say, uh, now. They're all music people. That's right. You guys are... It's easy. It's accessibility, and that's a cool thing about the internet, is that, again, free tools like this, accessible to everyone. And if you're a YouTuber, if you like making just music for fun, if you do it professionally, just want, like, a new tool to play around with, sure. or it's kids. great. Like, my son is nine years old. And exactly. He does stop, stop motion stick, stick bots and things like right. that. This can and be something he, he can said use. to us... I wish I could add my own music. He can. And he can now. Now he can. And that's the cool thing is that since it's all visual based, mm-hmm. um, a lot of programs nowadays, like the high end ones, again, like GarageBand and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, GarageBand isn't, I guess, high level, but it's, it's a good intro level. Right. Um, is that there's a lot of buttons and it can get yeah. confusing. Like something and there's like a lot of settings. F- FL Studio, for example. Yeah. Really pro software. Exactly. But you really, you have to be good with computers, good with music. Exactly. And, Mm-hmm. You're going to be able to set it up. This looks... Exactly. 
drag and drop simple. Exactly. And that's the cool thing is that it's very visual based. You saw things that you can actually connect wires, you connect things to effects. So it's a Love great it. teaching tool. But again, you saw how powerful this can be. And we've only been playing around with it for five to 10 minutes. So you can make an introduction to a podcast. You can just play yeah. around for fun, right? You or, get really lost in it and just you and, know, discover oh, no doubt, your... No yeah. And on the main, main page of this user. website, there, there are plenty of examples. If you just go there right now, people make entire songs. Like you just saw me make like a 10 second loop. You can make entire songs and add your own voice. Or Beautiful. if you want to be superstar... Make, make your mixed track. So you mentioned that a lot of this stuff is Creative Commons. Can, yeah. you, can you export to like an MP3 file? Yes, you can. File? And before we go, I want to show how to do that because if you save draft, I clicked file, save draft there. Um, the important thing to note is that you give it a title, so Henry's cool track, whatever. Um, you can upload cover art. So again, if you make something in GIMP, there you go. You can upload it there. Um, tags for internet. Etc. On the very bottom here, it says license. If you click on license, boop, there's three you options. You can set your own license? There's three, and this is important because the first two are Creative Commons, all right? So share alike 3.0 and non commercial, pretty much attribution, all right? So what these two options do is say that um, you, it actually puts them on a website so people can use your loops that you make. In their own loops so it's a huge community right now Neat. which is awesome yeah but with that being said um if you don't want like if if you're doing your own album or something you can say all rights reserved and you know you can't you it won't share it for you right so nice if you want to keep it private you can do that so you can just say copyrighted so and so all right so but yeah so that's a cool thing again you can control your own license um and it's, it's really cool because, again, anyone can use the site. And I think we're seeing more and more of these kind of programs pop up. Mm -hmm. And, and it is, it's, it's Flash-based, so you do need to have Adobe Flash. Very true. It That's is Flash-based. So, um, so if you are running Linux or something and you don't have Flash installed... So again, we, we had to reboot. To it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had to reboot the computer to open up Windows. <laughs> we do uh, reboot it, yeah. <laughs> which is fine. You can run it in Linux, of course, through your browser, but you'd have to have Flash, and I don't have Flash yeah. installed on my Linux system. So, mm -hmm. how do you export as a file that I can listen to or yeah. take into my sequence? Uh, like, say, I wanted to take it into um, a multi-track editor or something and add some vocals separate yeah, from the website. Exactly. So, so it, it's actually really simple. You just go to File. So on top, you. Click File, you save your draft. I'm going to call it Henry's Sick Beats or something amazing like that. Henry, Henry's Beat. So Henry's Beat, <laughs> I'll take an awesome mix because it's like... He's a beat farmer. That's, that's going to be your band name. Notes. Yeah, totally. And beat farmer. today, today beat. I'm feeling like you can use my music, but you can't use it commercially. And I'll click Save. So it's just going to take a second. It's like, yeah. So and we quick. made a draft. So now it's saved in the cloud. Yep. So if I wanted to like publish, I just click this button that has now appeared. Publish, boop. And the sound of silence. So pretty much it's saying, I haven't made a whole song yet. There's still gaps oh, in there. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's just like, okay, we're all right. Um, so it just asks you some final questions. So do you want to let others use this mix to remix? Mm -hmm. um, so it's like, yeah, sure. So it's like, I say publish. And then it takes, takes a few minutes to render, and then at the end of that process, you could say, you know what, yeah, download. So you can nice. save it, and other people on the net, you can say, do you want them to download it? Yeah. Right. You know what's cool so about now, this? Oh, sorry, sorry, go ahead. So Beyonce can use it, like anybody oh, can use Beyonce it. Oh, Beyonce does can use, use it, it. absolutely. Yeah. Makes her own sick beats. But yeah, yeah like Henry could, make, <laughs> Henry could make beats that Beyonce could use in her next Right. Video. Well, here's the Wouldn't thing. Wouldn't that be neat? It's, I say this again and again, it's accessibility, right? Yeah. So... Um, it might take a few minutes for it to go server side, so I'm just gonna close that. Um, but again, there's like they have like all these singles that are on the website oh, as right. like okay, Creative so Commons. At, yeah, yeah. So here's my thought, just as a final kind of thought from my perspective. Yeah. When I'm producing music on a computer, I have certain resource requirements. If I exactly. want to be doing these kinds of mixes, mm -hmm. I'm going to need a pretty killer computer. Yeah. Now, and I got to meet all those requirements. I've got to have inputs on the computer, all that kind of crazy stuff to make music. Mm -hmm. This takes away that requirement because it's all cloud-based. Exactly. So now I could be probably doing this from a, a little netbook or something if it's got yeah. 
because it's in your browser. Yeah, we could, we're all doing the, it on this machine. Work we're is being done it. on a server. And that's that's a really interesting part about it. Is that again, I I'll say it again, is accessibility. It takes that entire idea of having to need this honking machine. Yeah. So then anyone can do it now. My studio is my laptop. So the Sip next note, sorry. <laughs> Sipping the mocha. There you go. Perfect. There you go. So maybe maybe we've inspired the next like Beethoven or someone today. Dubstep Beethoven. Nice. That would be an awesome mix. Well, there you have it. It's uh, audiotool.com. Thanks, Henry. Thank you.